Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this Ohuhu watch press. In this video review, I will be going over the functions and features of the watch press and I will also be talking to you about my personal opinion on the product. Let's get right to it. As you can see right here in the package, there was the watch press unit, okay, just as you can see right here, and there were also these 12 nylon dies. Now let's start off by going over the watch press itself, okay? As you can see, it looks absolutely awesome. It, it, it was designed very, very nicely, and it is very sturdy, very durable, and very strong. The spring right here is absolutely amazing, and when you you squeeze it down just like that when you compress it down it is absolutely awesome the movement is very smooth it doesn't really put a lot of pressure on your hand everything about this watch press is absolutely awesome it is built very very it is built to be very durable and very strong but the overall design is very very nice and very very functional okay now I'm just gonna bring it a little bit closer to the camera just so you can see you can see that they these are threaded right here so you can actually turn the nylon dies um, into place place on the top and the bottom you can see the threads right there the spring once again is awesome it allows the movement to be very fluid very fluent and very smooth and it has a very strong and durable design okay now if you take a look at the nylon dies there are 12 nylon dies that came in the package they are obviously various sizes um, and nylon dies are great because they won't scratch your watch they won't leave any marks on your watch or anything like that okay um, so nylon dies are fantastic and these ones in specific are great I've used them many times and they have not left any marks on any of my watches and just before I finish this review video I just want to actually demonstrate myself using the watch press so as you can see right here I have a watch and I actually removed the backing from this watch and I'm going to be using this watch press to press the backing onto the watch so I'm gonna start off by um, figuring out which nylon die will be used for the uh, for the front of the watch and I'm pretty sure that this was the one yeah so this is the one that will go on the bottom right here so I'm actually just going to turn it into place just like that it gets into place really nicely just like that and then for the top I'm just gonna see which side fits the backing this one looks about right this one will work so I'm gonna place this one on the top and I'm just going to actually turn it into place uh, let's apply a little bit of pressure just like that so as you can see it turns into place really nicely just like that we're good to go I'm gonna get the watch into position let's just actually uh, put the backing onto the watch first just like that all right get it nice and straight put the watch into position right here make sure that it is nice and flat and that the backing is in position when you're ready to go evenly apply pressure downwards and then squeeze it into place just like that now let's take a look at the backing as you can see right here the backing is in place so let's just get the camera to focus in hopefully on the watch itself uh, I don't know if it's gonna focus there we go so as you can see right there the backing is nicely in place on the watch nothing is sticking out it's good to go I can turn it upside down shake the watch around the backing will not go anywhere now on some watches you will hear the backing snap into place on this specific watch I have replaced this battery three times so far and I've never heard the backing snap into place it simply goes down gets into place um, but you don't really hear a snapping sound you don't really hear a clicking sound that's probably why you didn't hear it as I was pressing it down okay maybe there is a clicking sound but it's really really low volume if there is a clicking sound at all okay it's not really audible to the human ear all right and that's basically it I just wanted to do this review of this watch press and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching